Good morning, everyone. This is Anne Marie. Today is Monday, November the 26th. And if you were uh, having a look at the SPY that we've been talking about, I did say that these kinds of days, low volume events, um, really do give us gaps up or movements up much more, it's much more likely that you see an up day on low volume than you see a down day on low volume, uh, in these holiday formats, that is. And that's what we're looking at. So I did tell the members, hey, listen, just be careful about taking any longs based on momentum shifts or trigger shifts that you see coming on Wednesday or Friday, because typically they don't hold. And pre-market here today, that's exactly what we're seeing. SPY currently printing at around 140.60 right now. That puts it somewhere around this noisy action here. I think the moment that SPY will get a bit of upside traction is really if it can breach up over this 141 level. It did close at 141.35. What it may try to do is fill the gap. So you want to watch that very, very closely. In essence, though, if we open up down here, what we've done is test the daily 50 and reject it. So we really want to see what we do in the morning. You know, there's a lot of pent up buying and selling that opens up the first few wicks uh, and few candlesticks of the day are usually suspect um, and need to be confirmed by either higher highs and higher lows or lower highs and lower lows. That being said, if we fail to recapture and hold this 140.86 area, we should drift back down and ultimately fill this gap event right here. We're caught between a number of moving averages and that always makes for sloppy trading. All in all, uh, momentum is clearly upside except for the fact that it's been upside into resistance. And that's what we're looking at. This pop up into resistance is the region uh, in question. What's the trade today? Short below uh, this 140.80-ish area, 140.90. If it breaches and recaptures the prior day's close and moves into the prior day's high, which are very close to each other actually, we'll see more upside momentum into the base of this gap, right? Now moving into here, that's going to be a whole other story. So there's a lot of un resolved uh, action here. What we just have to do is watch the price points and be careful about size. Remember, the difference between professional traders and people who don't trade to eat <laughs> is this. Professional traders are consistently assessing overall risk and what they should put to work in the market. And if the market is unstable and there is not an edge or not a clear directional focus, they are not going to put a lot at risk. And unfortunately, many traders who are not professional do not take the time to assess risk thresholds or to assess how much assess how much they should have at risk at certain times in the market. For me, this is a very high risk region. And so there's not a lot in play for me as an individual. I am extremely cautious in this area. Want to see it resolve out of this sloppy area right here. All right. Good luck trading today.